Hello everybody, today we are going to review the D-Link dual band Wi-Fi range extender, the AC1200. I was not going to do a review, but when I was looking for a range extender, I realized that on the web uh, a lot of the reviews are free, uh, which means that many people voted one and many people voted five. So is it very bad or is it very good? And that was the case for a lot of the major uh, brands. So this one was on sale. I got it for a very good price. And uh, if you look at the, at the package, it says here, it's a three easy step. Press the WPS button on, the, on your router. Uh, press the WPS button on the extender and basically you're done. There is here a signal, uh, a signal indicator to help you locate the uh, extender in the best location in your house. And here, nothing special over here, except it says up to 1200 megabits per second. That is uh, 300 uh, in the 2.4 gigahertz uh, band and 867 megabits per second max that's the max at five at the five gigahertz uh, band and we have about the same thing over here so backward compatibles to uh, a uh, nga uh, speed again there is a gigabit port in this thing and uh, yeah and i covered basically everything over here so uh, let's uh, open the box so I cut the piece of tape over here. So let's uh, open the box. Very uh, simple packaging, as you can see. So this is the uh, dealing product here. So you can see the size compared to my hand. So it's not very big. You have the two uh, antennas on the side. We're going to install that. There is a gigabit port here at the, uh, at the bottom. And uh, what else do we have in the box? We have here a, a D-Link Wi-Fi configuration card. Okay, and we have here a the, the quick a quick install the guide. Okay, we'll look at that also. And we have here D-Link support and a little sticker. Okay, a little sticker here. Okay, let's have a look at the manual. I'll be back in a second. I had a quick look at the manual, which is very simple. The device has a status LED just above the WPS uh, button. And if the LED is red, it means the device is powering on and booting up. If it's amber blinking, it means the device is ready but not connected to an uplink router. And if it's green, solid, indicates that the device is connected to your wireless router. And if it's blinking, the WPS button has been pushed and the device is processing a connection. Okay, very simple. So uh, we have to do this first. Connect, uh, press the WPS button on the router, the button on the range extender, and uh, the red, the LED, should uh, turn solid green. And then the second step will be to connect our wireless devices. Okay, so let's go through the installation. So the first step is to uh, install the range extender. Uh, and we have to wait for the amber light to blink. And it is uh, blinking now. And now the second step is to go and press the WPS button on the uh, router. So I put here the extender in the center of the house. I think it's a good location. So we'll see here uh, when it is connected if we get the three uh, LED uh, status lights here at the, on the side here. We are in my office now and this is the, uh, the router. It's a rebranded uh, Hytron. And by the way, this is my ultra-wide monitor. Uh, you might have seen a video of that. And this is my uh, Thermaltake Core P5 uh, computer. I did also a couple of videos uh, on that. So now, second step, we need to press the WPS button here, like so. You have to make sure that in the software this is enabled because uh, sometimes it will be disabled. So you have to go in uh, and enable the WPS button. 
This is the page showing the wireless settings for the Hytron router. And as you can see, WPS is enabled. Uh, it was off before, so make sure that for your router, that WPS is enabled before you start installing the range extender. And the third step is within one minute, we need to press the WPS button on the range extender. So uh, we'll see here what uh, happens. Well, now guess what? I tried three times and I was not able to install using the simple WPS uh, install procedure. And this is why uh, devices like that get a lot of uh, negative reviews on the web because people try the easy way, it doesn't work, then they have to go to the more difficult way and people who are not computer savvy have a big time, big trouble with this. So, instead of going through this here, I found that the D-Link website is actually much better. Uh, here this is the, you can see the manual setup for the DAP1620. So you just follow that here. Uh, this is the card I showed you in the box with the SSIDs. So you go through that, you click here, very, very simple to use actually. You click on extend an existing wireless network. Uh, then you pick up your networks. I had two, the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. And uh, yeah, it was very simple from there. So I, it went through all this within a minute. And, uh, and at the end, I got the, um, uh, where is it here? Yeah, over here. I got this signal and I got the lights on my device, which I'm going to show you right now. We just completed the web browser uh, installation procedure and it works. As you can see here, we have our solid green LED and this is a good location. Like I thought, I have also all three uh, green LEDs for the signal strength. So we are here in the middle of the house. And we'll go upstairs to see what kind of signal strength we have in my daughter's bedroom. We are now in the uh, farthest location uh, in the house. And as you can see, our range extender gives us a solid 3 bar for the signal strength on the 2.4 GHz band. And we only get 2 from the uh, router. Uh, on the 5 GHz uh, band, our dealing also gives us here a solid 3 bars versus only one for the 5G, which is surprising here. I would think the, 2 point, the 5G would be above the 2.4 in uh, signal uh, strength, and I find that a bit bizarre here. But anyway, the point here is that our D-Link range extender seems to work perfectly. We have a solid three bar uh, signal strength, and we are in the farthest location in the house. This uh, completes the installation of the D-Link Range Extender AC1200. As you saw, unfortunately, in my case, the WPS button uh, did not uh, succeed with the, uh, on my router, so I had to go through the manual installation. And that's my guess as to why people put a rating of 1 on websites. It's because they're, they can't uh, do it on their uh, router using their WPS uh, button. And if you go through the manual setting, it's a bit complicated for people who do not know a lot about uh, computers. So finally, just remember that when you will in the future install uh, portable devices like cell phones and tablets, you'll have to connect to your dealing extender if you want to. If you're far away from your router, this is what you would want, you would want uh, to do and not connect to your router uh, directly, the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz uh, band. So thank you for watching everybody. I hope I was able to shed some light on installing those uh, range extenders. So I hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day. Goodbye.